The Oak Grove above the sand at Lincoln Beach in New Orleans East offers a rare view in our city. A closer look, though, and something more common, a decaying shell of what used to be. When do you think the last time a television crew was on this beach? Oh my God, it's probably decades. Officially, Lincoln Beach, the black alternative to the popular Pontchartrain Beach, has been closed since desegregation in the mid-1960s. After years of neglect, the tunnel that once symbolized the entrance to a safe place for blacks looks like this, flooded and gator infested. Still, people have found a way in by hopping a fence and going down a new trail. One of those looking to trail a new future for Lincoln Beach like shows me the old pool. Right There's a long history and legacy here that once we start talking, it goes deep. Yeah. Sage Michael, as world. he likes we to be called, out. knows the history of this place better than most. This is unique, unlike any other thing in the United States. This is land dedicated for black people. We can look over there and see at West End, they didn't want black people over there. They moved it down to Milneburg, they didn't want you there. They didn't want you at Seabrook. So they said, come all the way down here to Lincoln Beach. And they moved the fishing camps where World Sewage came. And then after desegregation, it shut down since 65. Michael has been organizing cleanups here, posting don't litter signs, and keeping trails clear. He is doing all of this while trespassing. Guess what, the, the cans that I recycle could pay for that citation. I want the cans I recycle to pay for eight dollars for the signs I just we just had made to to encourage people don't trash. The passion that Michael has for this place comes from its history. There is something to learn, he says, from the highs and lows of Lincoln Beach. His love also comes from what is so visually apparent. In a city surrounded by sea walls and protected by levees, this 17-acre beach off a of Hain Boulevard offers something different, and people want in. The people really want access to be able to get into the water, and this is a perfect area. Uh, the water's really, really clean in this area. There's not a lot of boat traffic and all, and I think the, the folks have figured that out. Being out here, as you can see, there's family. Council member Cindy Wynn is more interested in getting the beach back open safely than she is in trying to punish anyone for using it. I think there's, there's several significant factors for me. One is to give many of our senior citizens, our elderly, when they were little, where they used to play here, for, for them to get an opportunity to come back and then bring their children and their grandkids, right? That's something that we always enjoy doing. Earlier this month, Mayor LaToya Cantrell approved the launch of a study to explore reopening Lincoln Beach. The first phase is figuring out what kind of plants are on the site to see if any might be poisonous. The other step is figuring out how much, if any, of what remains, including the swimming pool and concrete pads, can be saved for historical value. You know, really doing an assessment, understanding the features that are here. And of course, there are some hazards that have just grown from a lack of uh, attention over the years. There's some wildlife out here. There's some litter and broken glass, but all that can be as assessed. That's the pool on this side. It was named after an ex-slave and um, civil rights worker. Michael wants him. to first clean up the beach, then see the land used by the community with gardens, safe hiking trails, historic markers, social services for the homeless. There have been grand aspirations like this in the past, but all have failed. What do you say to those people who say those plans are too ambitious? My plans are reality because my plans have started. I, I, I've taken initiative because sometimes you can't wait. This land is my land, this land is your land. That's American song. This land is for black heritage to celebrate with all cultures. Aiming high, hoping to one day see the return of Lincoln Beach. Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News.